This is the Real Colors palette generator on uh, Google Play. So uh, you can uh, download this and install it. And uh, uh, you can uh, download this and install it. And it these are the things that it'll uh, give you. It'll give you the correct palette of the colors that you might need. And uh, you use your photo, or you can take a photo, or you can use a photo from your gallery. So let's get on it. Uh, you can take a photo using the gallery, or pick a photo from the gallery. Okay, if uh, I was drawing this picture here that was off of my video, here's your uh, color palette that's over here. And here's the picture that uh, we're looking at. We'll go back and then uh, you can edit it if you want and you can get the RGB if you need to. You can change the RGB. Uh, there's the HSB what it would look like and if you want to change the colors and make it brighter so right now it's right there uh, this is the palette and those are the colors that you would use mostly dark colors and there's some light greens earth tones and what have you and that would be your spectrum of the colors that you would use so that will come in handy when you're drawing. Uh, those would be all the colors in this drawing. Black and tans and uh, darker colors. So it's really cool. Uh, and there's your palette there. And you can... Uh, that That's the uh, main view. And if you want to delete this, you can delete it. And if you want to keep it, you can keep it. Okay, this is the uh, other one, the color wheel from Dobo. It's unrated, designed for phones. And uh, it gives you a 360 uh, multiple, uh, multiple variable on these. And I'll show you how to use this in a minute. But it uh, gives you a lot of uh, options. So let's uh, go back and open that up and there it is there and you can uh, on the color wheel pro you can get the complementary split compton triad tetrad analogic whatever uh, and all the other ones right now we're in monochromatic and all you do is and it switches around and you can pick any color you want and you can any shade you want slate gray and if you notice it'll change right here when I move this circle right there dim gray and dark slate blue gray slate blue and then uh, you can brighten it up cornflower blue and it'll give you the monochromatic number for that or at least the visual color and that's of course all the white dark and once again you just spin it around here and it gives you any color you want and that is a really cool app for your phone if you're into colors and painting and what have you alright welcome to pencil art I'm Thomas Rob 
and uh, I'm uh, I just got done sketching uh, that's about all I'm going to do on the sketching as far as outline well, the rest will be shading and coloring and doing what we need to do to make this portrait uh, look lifelike uh, I took some pictures and as you're seeing I had all I had was my uh, graph paper I have you can see my graph up here it's on my picture and I had this and all I do is I take this and I slip it over there and I line it up with the corner that I want to choose so I chose to line it up on this and I'm using a the Strathmore color pencil paper it's uh, 30 sheets of it and uh, it's acid free medium surface white for finished artwork it's uh, 11 by 14 and they're a hundred pound weight so it's a fairly stout uh, paper it's in between 80 and 120 so and it's the 400 series 400 series of the uh, Strathmore 11 by 4 actual sheet size uh, when torn at micro uh, perforation so it's made in the USA and we'll see how this works out with the Prisma colors so just a little if you don't want to tape to your paper or uh, do anything you can just hang it and just get what you need to do and that's uh, basically where we are at and uh, we'll continue on and uh, from the last picture that I took all I simply did was uh, do the neck basically trying to figure out the neckline on this and I'm just going to go split it down the middle because that's where it's going to end up and we're going to have a double chin because it is a child like that maybe a little bit more out I don't want to put too many pencil marks but uh, and then there's going to be a double chin and roll down here uh, and there's the side of the cheek is actually pushing up against the shoulder that's right here that's going to be uh, right about well be right up right up in here we'll see we'll see what uh, is going on with that so uh, and uh, I have the mouth basically I have the corners the about where I want them they're always going to be just the on a child's face the here's the pupil here the mouth is always going to be just a little bit wider all the time than the eye unless they're turned away from the camera a little bit then it will be shortened up a little and that will be shortened up right there so and we're going to be getting going here like I said I don't want to put too many pencil marks on here because we're going to be coloring with pencils so and that's about where we want it to be So there we go. And mouths are always the trickiest because you want to you want to get those fairly correct, the mouth and the nose and the eyes 
and you get those three correct you'll be doing good in the ears of course and that comes down don't want to press too hard either just want to get the basic outline and that's going to be about it I think for right now so uh, hang in there and uh, we'll get started on this I just wanted to uh, go over my turquoise Prismacolor Premier 12. There are uh, 12 uh, drawing leads in here, and this is the 4H. And there's one dozen in a pack. And I am using for my sketching my Promatic made in Italy. Alvin pencil and over here you can see that they have a little dial right there HBF to tell you which lead that you have in here just in case you have two or three I have 4H in there and that's where it's set and it's where it usually stays so that's just a, one of those added features of the Alvin and it's fairly heavy and you can you know you can shade and do whatever you need to do or if you need to draw big lines big light lines I don't have it taped anymore because I was doing the other video but you wanna if you want to sit there and and uh, figure out what you're doing on your drawing up here up top you can and mimic it down here and kind of get the same line that's going on just like that so eventually we'll color this in and get it in but I just wanted to show you the Promatic And leads are fairly long, so we can give you a comparison. So you can uh, have fairly long leads on here and not have to worry about it. Uh, I usually like keeping them down right around there, right about one inch. I think that's about one inch I don't know I've never really measured it so it's about one inch and that's where I keep it this is uh, Deborah Young and uh, she's won many awards and a very talented artist probably a master artist at this point uh, and this is where, right here, Walter Foster Publishing. Uh, this next uh, picture that I'm going to be doing is going to be from a little bit of combination of The Art of Drawing People by Walter Foster. And of course Lee Hammond. And uh, we'll be working on the color pencils and the portraiture of... Uh, persons and children. Uh, this next one is going to be a child which is a little bit more difficult and I'll uh, read a little bit li a little later on uh, what she says about uh, child, child portraitures. Uh, if you want to check out her Facebook and like it, working on, worked on the grass blades and she's done a swan and uh, probably recognize some of these people so uh,
there's the three there and uh, we'll be doing good in uh, trying to work out uh, work on our drawings and uh, see if we can't learn anything have a great day <laughs>